Human history is filled with warfare between tribes, nations and empires. The equipment used in war has progressed from sharpened sticks and rocks to automatic guns, predator missiles and even atomic bombs. Thanks Oppenheimer. Each new piece of military technology changes the way people fight and the tactics employed. With the rise of AI, one might wonder how warfare has changed from the beginning of history. Today, we are going to talk about the history of warfare. Without further ado, let's get into it. We started with the year 1300 before Christ. As many of you have guessed, the weapons in the early days were mainly spears, bows, arrows and swords. The spear was mainly formed with a bronze spike that was sharp and heavy, which helped with balancing the weight with a weight of around 4 kilograms. The spear was used as a main weapon, but in case it got lost or broken down, the soldiers would then use the swords for combat. Since its disadvantage in length, the soldiers would hesitate before using it. While using the swords, the soldier would often use the symbolic shield to try and mitigate some of the attacks. The shield was often created from a simple wood and would not hold for that long during combat. During this age, there were not many strategies implemented since there was an unwritten rule, the heroic rule. This meant that deception and sneaking up on enemies were seen as something lesser and weak. The Trojan horse was something completely revolutionary in this aspect, which is why it has landed as an historic anecdote for history lovers. This was the theme of wars for a long time until we hit modern warfare strategies. If we fast forward to modern days, we can investigate the Revolutionary War. This war introduced a form of warfare that combined elements of traditional hand-to-hand -hand combat with the early precursors of modern military tactics. During the Revolutionary War, most of the land battles were fought on open fields, where soldiers from opposing forces would line up across from each other. The primary weapon used by both the British and Continental forces was the musket, the Brown Bess, a British-made musket, and the French-made Charleville musket were the most popular models employed during this period. Muskets were long-barreled firearms, typically measuring around 42 inches, and they could be equipped with bayonets at the end of the barrel. Muskets allowed troops to fire bullets at their enemies from a distance, but they were not highly accurate beyond 100 yards. A common soldier could only manage three to four shots per minute, with each reload taking about 15 to 20 seconds. As a result, bayonets played a crucial role in close-quarter combat, transforming the musket into a makeshift spear or knife. Rifles, although more accurate than muskets, were not as commonly used due to their slower reload time, taking up to a minute to prepare a single shot. Nevertheless, rifles were employed by snipers and light infantry to pick off enemies from a distance and harass opposing troops. To compensate for the musket's lack of accuracy, commanders implemented volleying tactics. Soldiers would fire in coordinated volleys, where ranks of two or three lines would take turns shooting at the enemy. The objective was to maximize the number of shots fired at once, relying on speed and volume rather than precision. Additionally, soldiers attached bayonets to their muskets, which allowed them to switch from firing to close combat rapidly. This was especially crucial in defending against cavalry charges and engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat with enemy forces. Artillery in the form of cannons also played a vital role in the Revolutionary War. These cannons, made of bronze or cast iron, fired large projectiles at the enemy, but they required a team of soldiers to reload and reposition them after each shot. Mortars, which could fire shells high into the air, were used to rain shrapnel on the enemy, and howitzers provided a combination of cannonball and bomb-firing capabilities. The Revolutionary War's unique style of warfare, with its reliance on muskets, bayonets and volleying tactics, played a crucial role in the American victory against the British forces. These early forms of military technology and tactics laid the groundwork for the ever-evolving face of warfare in the United States. The Civil War, fought nearly eight decades after the Revolutionary War, brought forth a new chapter in the evolution of warfare. 
Lasting from 1861 to 1865, the conflict was fought between the Northern States, Union, and the Southern States, Confederacy, over issues of slavery, states' rights, and regional tensions. The Civil War witnessed significant advancements in weaponry and tactics compared to its predecessor. Although both sides continued to employ linear formations and trench warfare, new technologies and improved firearms played a pivotal role in the deadliest conflict in U.S. history. One of the most significant changes was the transition from muskets to rifles. While muskets were the primary firearms used in the Revolutionary War, the Civil War featured the use of rifles that provided better accuracy and range. Soldiers armed with rifles could now engage targets at a distance of up to 1,000 yards, altering the dynamics of combat and changing the strategies employed on the battlefield. The Union's adoption of repeaters, such as the famous Spencer Carbine, was another revolutionary development during the Civil War. These repeating rifles allowed soldiers to fire multiple rounds before having to reload, giving them a considerable advantage over the traditional single-shot rifles used by the Confederacy. However, this technological advantage also contributed to the staggering casualty numbers as soldiers on both sides could inflict significant damage in a short amount of time. Artillery continued to be a critical component of warfare during the Civil War. The use of cannons, mortars and howitzers provided both offensive and defensive capabilities. The introduction of more reliable and accurate powder, thanks to Lamont Dupont's advancements, increased the firepower and efficiency of artillery units on the battlefield. The use of ironclad warships marked a significant naval advancement during the Civil War. These armoured vessels, equipped with steam-powered engines and heavy armour plating, provided newfound strength and resilience compared to traditional wooden sailing ships. The Union's ironclad ships played a crucial role in enforcing the Anaconda Plan, a naval blockade designed to strangle the Confederate forces' supply lines and cripple their economy. Another innovation during this era was the use of submarines in naval warfare. The Confederacy deployed the H.L. Hunley, the first submarine to sink an enemy vessel, creating a new dimension of underwater combat. While submarines were not extensively used during the Civil War, their emergence foreshadowed their future importance in naval engagements. The Civil War showcased the effectiveness of machine guns on the battlefield. Hiram Maxim's invention of the machine gun in the late 19th century revolutionized infantry tactics. The use of machine guns during the Civil War demonstrated their devastating impact on mass infantry formations, leading to changes in troop deployment and combat strategies. Overall, the Civil War marked a significant turning point in the development of modern warfare, setting the stage for further advancements in military technology and tactics in the years to come. The integration of rifles, repeaters, ironclad submarines and machine guns paved the way for the transformative changes that would shape the face of warfare in the decades ahead. World War I, often referred to as the Great War, was a global conflict that lasted from 1914 to 1918. It brought forth unparalleled devastation and marked a critical turning point in the evolution of warfare. The war involved major world powers, divided into two opposing alliances, the Allies including France, Russia and the United Kingdom, and the Central Powers, comprising Germany, Austria-Hungary and the Ottoman Empire. The warfare in World War I was vastly different from previous conflicts, with new technologies and tactics causing unprecedented levels of destruction and loss of life. One of the most significant developments during World War I was the widespread use of machine guns. The deployment of heavy caliber machine guns, such as the Maxim and later the Vickers, resulted in devastating casualties on the battlefield. These rapid-firing weapons could mow down advancing troops, forcing armies to abandon traditional linear formations and seek cover in trenches, giving rise to the era of trench warfare. Artillery played a crucial role in the war, with advancements in technology leading to more powerful and accurate bombardments. 
High explosive shells, shrapnel rounds and gas shells became standard ammunition, turning the battlefield into a deadly and unpredictable environment. The introduction of poison gas was one of the most horrifying aspects of World War I. Chlorine, phosgene and mustard gas were among the deadly chemical agents used to inflict suffering on enemy soldiers. The use of gas masks became essential for survival, marking the first time that protective equipment played such a critical role in warfare. The development of tanks represented a significant leap in military technology during World War I. These armoured vehicles, initially known as landships, were designed to navigate through the treacherous conditions of the trenches and break enemy lines. Although early tank models were crude and unreliable, they laid the foundation for future armoured warfare. Airplanes also made their debut in military conflicts during World War I. Initially used for reconnaissance, aircraft soon evolved into fighters and bombers. Dogfights between fighter planes became common and the use of bombers introduced a new dimension of aerial warfare, the Battle of the Somme, fought between July and November 1916, serves as a grim example of the unprecedented casualties and carnage that characterized World War I. On the first day of the battle alone, the British suffered nearly 60,000 casualties, highlighting the destructive power of modern weaponry. World War I forever changed the nature of warfare, ushering in a new era of mechanized and industrialized conflict. The devastating impact of machine guns, artillery, poison gas, tanks and airplanes redefined the strategies and tactics employed by nations at war. The lessons learned from the Great War would shape military thinking and the development of new technologies in the years leading up to World War II and beyond. Throughout history, warfare has undergone tremendous transformations shaped by technological innovations and strategic developments. From the hand-to-hand -hand combat of the Revolutionary War to the emergence of advanced autonomous systems in the 21st century, the evolution of warfare is a testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of military superiority. The Revolutionary War laid the groundwork for modern warfare, with muskets and bayonets shaping the tactics of the time. The Civil War introduced rifles, artillery and ironclad ships, while World War I brought forth devastating weaponry such as machine guns, poison gas and tanks. World War II witnessed the dawn of air supremacy and the devastating power of nuclear weapons. The Korean and Vietnam Wars showcased the integration of helicopters and the use of asymmetric warfare, challenging conventional military strategies. The Cold War era saw space exploration and the development of space-based weapons signaling a new frontier for military capabilities. The present-day military landscape is marked by the rise of drones, AI-driven systems, cyber warfare and directed energy weapons. As we look toward the future, emerging technologies hold the potential to reshape warfare once again. AI, cyber warfare, nanotechnology and quantum technology offer unprecedented capabilities, but they also present ethical dilemmas and risks that demand thoughtful consideration. In this ever-changing landscape, it becomes crucial for nations to prioritize diplomacy, international cooperation and the establishment of ethical guidelines. Responsible use of emerging technologies and adherence to international law are essential to mitigate the potential risks and ensure the protection of civilian populations and non-combatants. Ultimately, the lessons of history and the evolving nature of warfare remind us of the importance of fostering a global commitment to peace and stability. As we harness the power of technology for military purposes, we must never forget the human cost of armed conflicts and the imperative to seek diplomatic solutions to global challenges. By learning from our past and embracing the challenges of the future, we can strive to build a world where the devastating impact of war is minimized and the pursuit of peace and security remains the guiding principle for all nations. Only through collective efforts and responsible use of technology can we hope to create a safer and more peaceful future for generations to come. I hope you liked this video, and if you learned something new, make sure to like and subscribe.